time to give it up for TJ Lavin, Corey Anastasio. These are the top three faces in the sport of bike dirt. Each with a different style, and that style reflects their personality. of Bike Dirt Finals, one of the 10 finalists to make it, a rogue legend in the sport of Bike Dirt, Corey Nastasio, along with the Polish seasoned vet, TJ Lavin, and a fairly new rider to the sport, Mike Aitken, 17 years old, he's only been riding for six, a style cat. His second run of the finals. Ken, you see right there, Mike transferring. Right, he is taking his way through this course, and the judges really do look favorably upon that. Now that was a good run, but Mikey being 17, he still needs to get some of these bigger tricks if he's gonna compete with the likes of TJ Lavin or Ryan Nyquist. His second run, not as good as his first, a score of 89.8, he'll be looking to improve. Good friends with Mike Aitken, Ryan Jordan will often ride up at Skaters Island or at the famed vert rider Kevin Robinson's Park locally here in Providence, Rhode Island. And like Mike, he's on his way up. He's 19 years old, and everybody I've talked to about Ryan says that he learns tricks very quickly. He's all about business, and that's why his nickname is Biz. Throwing a trick on every one. Didn't take the 30 foot, but did put a trick down on every jump. It was a good jump, but he needs to hit every single jump and throw a trick on every single jump. He didn't do it over the step up. What the judges look for are for the guys to go out there and hit every single jump and throw down. Ryan Jordan's second run, unable to move him up into the top three in 89.8. Right now, a rider definitely feeling the nerves. Definitely Corey feeling the nerves. Nastasio. I don't know if it's nerves or if he just feels like dancing. You never can tell with Corey. He's a loose cannon, but he's been pulling it together lately in the competitions he needs to pull it together further if he wants to go for a victory today there is no room for error the runs that are placed in the top three right now are virtually flawless expect something big out of corey hits the three lands low though Ken, we were talking about the consistency right, of the rhythm. it's so important to make sure that you land your tricks right off the bat Took a gamble with a big 360, landed too low, wasn't able to make the speed, so he's gonna call it right here. This is gonna be his throwaway run, Pat. Each rider gets four runs. It's the average of the top three runs that will decide the winner here today. What happens, though, Pat, is when you mess up in early on in the competition, you no longer have that cushion. I mean, it's one thing if you had three good runs and then your fourth run you mess up. This is going to put a strain on him. He has to perform for the next two times perfectly if he wants to medal. No stranger to the gold medal. Last year's bike dirt champion, Ryan Nyquist. Today, so far in his first run, performed flawlessly. Can he keep it up for a second? Well, he's had a surgery earlier on. He's got a bum thumb. He's been really trying to focus himself for these events. This is his first major contest this year after that surgery. Oh, and Ryan, ah, Ryan landed a little low on that truck driver off the first set, and as you saw, couldn't have the speed and did not clear that jump. He did, we call it a case. But here, look at this, this is typical of Ryan Nyquist. He does not stop, Pat. He wants to go all the way through, if not for himself, but for the crowd. He is, without a doubt, the consummate professional in bike dirt. Big on the last hit. Right there, that illustrates perfectly. For those of you wondering, this will definitely be his throwaway run, but 
He's not doing that for the score right there. He's doing no, it for the I people mean, in the stands. You saw Corey. Corey got frustrated and wanted to walk off and take it easy, save it for a later run. Ryan, he lets everything hang out. He got right out there. His throwaway run, a score of 81.2. And now he knows, much like Corey Nastasio, he has no more room for error. It's got to be all out and all perfect if he wants gold. The question is, right now, does TJ Lavin hold back? Oh, absolutely not. TJ is going to go full steam ahead. Sometimes when you see guys and they're having an off day, it might fuel you. And TJ is notorious for sticking things when you think the pressure's too heavy. Right there, my question was answered. <laughs> no holding back. Oh, take a look at this. His bars are backwards. TJ Lavin really quick had to improvise. That was awesome. TJ came out all guns blazing, like we said. He's making references to his bars. When he did that actual trick off the last set, he spun the bars with a little too much juice and they went around. Right here, watch. Tire grab. Watch him spin the bars. They went right around. There. That was a surprise. You can bet it. Now he's rolling through the berm. It's very difficult to get speed for this step up, but look, he's got his bars backwards. What strikes me about TJ is his ability to embrace the new breeds of the sport. You see him right there yelling out to one of them, Mike Aitken, an up-and-comer, as we said earlier. Good friends with Elf, another helper, a course builder, along with Fuzzy Hall. Likes the way Elf builds the transitions. Could be a benefit to him as he gets underway with this run here. Start things off beautifully. Like his run previous, He's going weaving. both ways on the transfer, weaving his way through the course. All right. Such style from Mike Aiken. Mike Aiken's third run, a score of 89.4. One of the most towering riders you'll see out here today, Chris Doyle, got into riding through his brother making him bikes, made his own bikes. Now he's at the Gravity Games here in the finals trying to put it together. He's somewhat of a jolly green giant. He's about six feet tall, and he really manipulates that bike well. He does a lot of bar spin and a lot of turn down tricks. All right, pretty much clean all the way through. Solid run from Chris Doyle. After his second run, he was in third, and he is putting together such consistent runs. If the other riders continue to fall apart on their final runs, he could very well win here today. He's been riding for three years, and today, undoubtedly, one of his best. His score, a 91.2 for Chris Doyle. Corey Nastasio was in 10th after his second run. You can see the nerves. We talked about it earlier. If anyone has the ability and just the emphasis on progression, it's this guy, Corey Nastasio. He can come back and throw down some extremely crazy moves. I bet you he gets the crowd on their feet. Hobbs for the right takeoff on the first hit. Corey Nastasio. Yes, but comes back. He did the 360 on the first one again. He's coming into the final straight. He's pedaling, Pat. It's going to be something big. Yes, and it is. The textbook nasty on that. Exactly. That's his own trick. That's the X up to tabletop backflip. He's the only guy doing that right now. It's, it's like his little signature. The score, a 93.4. He is back in the running. Keep in mind, it is the average of the three runs out of the four. Ryan Nyquist. Ryan had a bit of a difficulty in the previous run. He's looking to improve upon that. We could very well see Ryan back in the running right now. Everybody has been stepping up. And we top right there. Back flip on the first hit. Ryan has definitely got a flow going right now. I'm, I'm interested to see what this is going to be. And again, he pulls his bar spin back flip to finish it off. This time, however, it counts. He hit a trick on every single one. Definitely coming back from beyond, beyond the grave in that last run.
often you'll hear about these comps, the bike dirt comps, where the mentality, the vibe is very laid back, like a backyard trail riding. But when you get guys like TJ and Ryan, it really comes down to a mental game. And you know what? Those two do have kind of a, a rivalry. Not not an aggressive rivalry, but definitely a friendly rivalry. Well, it's definitely pushing the scores higher. Ryan Nyquist, his third run, a 93. Ryan's run along with Corey's pushing it along here, but someone that could slam the door shut on this whole competition, TJ Lavin, his girlfriend Siobhan watches on as he takes the drop on his third run. She knows full and well his mind is on last year, Kenan. TJ fell on the last trick, tried to do the 360 whip, wound up with third place. Ryan came in, got the gold medal in the biggest event in bike dirt. That's been on TJ's mind for the last year. He knows he can change all that with this run. Even in the crunch, he decides to take the first 30-footer right yeah. there. Oh, going big, stretching a no-footed Superman seat grab. <laughs> little creativity from TJ, no hands on the landing. Yes, and a nice look back, backflip. TJ is putting together, I think he smashed it. This could be it, that this is it. very well be the nail in the coffin. Three beautiful runs, Pat. Now he could just chill. The judges are taking the top three runs out of the four. His first three runs solid across the board. He knows that other riders have had problems throughout the course today. TJ's third run, the highest scoring run of the day, a 97. It's pretty much all over. TJ Lavin well in the lead. The only rider that has a mathematical chance to catch him is Ryan Nyquist. However, some young upstarts, Ryan Jordan, could very well grab a medal here with his final run. You know, Ryan is customarily hard on himself, but I see nothing in his performance today that would warrant that. And he's been doing a fantastic job. Yeah, tail whip. And another tail whip back to back. will be his final jump. Look at that! Yes! Going for the 360 tail whip. Ryan's been having a great year so far. This is his first big contest in the States. He was over in Germany, got second place in the world. Here he is right now at the Gravity Games, throwing down some big tricks and hanging with the big boys. He was in seventh place after his third run. This will decide it. They are going to be throwing out the lowest run. And look at the 360 tail whip. What he's trying to do is he's trying to get his feet back on the pedals, but he slips it just a little bit. Ooh, and he gets a little surprise from the wheel. You'll see it a little bit better here. He'll slip right off, missing the back foot. Doing what, what we don't like to do is land there on our bikes. Not fun at all. Ryan Jordan, his fourth and final run, one of the best of today, 91.4. Right now, Chris Doyle, still has a chance to get a medal here today, Kenan. He can if he sticks true to his typical riding style, and that's consistency. He's gonna have to pull his tricks and pull them well. Kenan, he is right on mark so far. It's gonna come down to this last jump. You saw him in his earlier run, he did the turn down to X up, takes it one step further, he throws in a bar spin. Another solid run from Chris Doyle. Corey Nastasio on his fourth run. Oh man, I feel it too, I feel that pressure building up. Look at him, he's gotta let it all blow out right now. <laughs> well, with Chris Doyle's final run at a 93.4, he's got to stay relaxed if he wants to medal. You are seeing the true essence of Troy Nostagio right now. Right oh, there with yes. the back flip. Oh, no. Something went wrong in that bar spin. He didn't make it. This is going to take him out of any medal contention. He couldn't have caught TJ anyways. You saw him on the run before where he cased it, gave up, but this is his last and final run. Hold on, Pat. Now, I know Corey Nostasio has been working on a few things lately. He's been known to go for the double backflip. <laughs> it's like he's waiting for the crowd to get behind He's actually, 
They're giving him props. I think he's going to go for a double backflip. He has nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, except some skin. Hold on. There it is. Yeah. Oh. OK, he's all right. <laughs> the nasty oh. man has spoken here the in Providence. The soldier. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, he's been going for that trick for about a year and a half now. He has yet to pull it off. The only rider who's ever pulled a double backflip in a contest is Dave Mira. No one has ever done it on dirt. Man, it just looks like he came up short on that just a tad bit. Regardless, just for the effort alone. Let me tell you, though, to do that trick with just a Pro-Tech helmet, just to fire it off like Nasty did, it's like he's in some kind of alternate universe. Corey Nastasio is fourth run, a 74.2. However, one rider was in second place after his third run. He has the chance to catch TJ Lavin. He needs body temperature to catch up, 98.6. That's the score he needs. Virtual perfection in bike dirt, Kennan. If anyone could do it, it is Ryan Nyquist. He still has a few tricks that he hasn't pulled out that can tip the scales in his favor. No! Oh, here we go, right there. Oh, man. He knew he had to risk it all. And he did risk it all. He went for a 720 right off the bat. That is a very big and hard trick to do. Had he landed that and then linked everything together, it could have gone his way. Last year's gold medal winner, Ryan Nyquist, settles for sixth place here today. What a way to settle. Now, take into consideration, he fell two times and still got sixth place. That just goes to show you how fantastic his other runs were. There is your 2000 Gravity Games Bike Dirt Champion, TJ Lavin. <laughs> He is the LC, the lady's choice. Uh, if only we all had his problems. Come on, Wayne, chill out. He's com commenting about the wind right now. Yeah, it, if I know TJ, there's no way he's going to just take it easy in this last run, not with everyone throwing down. Lori Run is not Whoa! in his vocabulary. Look at that. I have to apologize for screaming out there, folks, but I just get fired up seeing TJ go off like that huge Superman seat grab, and he's not even done. Yes. Bam! Oh, man, TJ Lavin, that is the furthest thing from a throwaway run. TJ Lavin has put his name in the history books in the sport of bike dirt. How many, how many years have you been riding, Kenny? I've been riding since 1983, and I haven't seen a display of perfection in a competition of this magnitude ever. I mean, he had four runs that I, I would not want to be a judge judging a throwaway run over there. Everything he did was just dialed, with the exception of that little slip there. As I said, that is no throwaway run. TJ Lavin is a world-class competitor in Bicycle Dirt, and he had proved it today. Here are the results for the 2000 Gravity Games Bike Dirt Finals. The gold medalist, TJ Lavin. The silver goes to Chris Doyle, and the bronze, Ryan Jordan.